Interest from behind the wicket. So Steve Smith had the best hearing in Australian cricket. He's the only one who heard that nick off Kane Williamson. Yeah, he does, and that's happened before, actually. Um, I just think that's that goes to show how involved in the game he is and, and just the, the real cricket now, if you like. It, it's not, obviously, his hearing is no better than anybody else, but he did pick it up. Payne sort of half reacted. Um, Joe Burns didn't move at all at first slip, and, and Camo was unmoved as well. So, um, yeah, hopefully that's one that they don't rue too much. You don't want to be giving someone like Kane Williamson a, another opportunity. Before he was out batting, he took a fantastic catch in the outfield. Is it one of the better outfield catches by Kane Williamson? Good catch running backwards, yeah. I actually thought he'd, he'd marked it up because he sort of went to turn the wrong way and then ended up catching it over his what would have been his opposite shoulder. But, yeah, great catch um, running back. I mean, he's like, he's like Smithy. I mean, they're just they're pure cricketers. You know, they understand um, themselves in their game really well and, you know, they tend to not make many mistakes. You gave us your best return catches last night, so following on with that theme, best outfield catches. <laughs> I remember Steve Waugh taking one behind the side screen, running back in a one-day game. And so it's all, oh, it's all one. One that sticks in my mind was Adam Dale in a um, domestic, I think, a mercantile mutual game, probably at the Gabba. Oh, what a ripper! That could turn the whole game. Adam Dale, he's got three wickets for the ball. That's one of the best catches you will ever see. Glenn McGrath at the Adelaide Oval, outfield catch, catching Michael Vaughan off Warney. Oh. He's really gone for that one. There's a chance in the outfield. Oh, and what a very good catch. That's a terrific catch there. Glenn McGrath, he is a good outfielder, but he had to go a long way to get there. Does McGrath still remind you of his one? Yeah, but that's the biggest fluke. I mean, I've seen a few flukes on the cricket field, and he's been responsible for two of them, um, making 61 with a bat in that test match and then taking that catch in Adelaide. Um, you know, the story we always tell about that, it, it would have been, if he wasn't 30 metres out of position, um, he would have, would have been straight down his throat. So the reason he had to run that far was because he wasn't watching the captain.